Long story short, because of the attack on the chickens and the rooster was killed, I needed to step up my security game. We have our lights, we have our alarms, but we need to see at night and watch for predators. So I grabbed one of these night vision monocles. Now it works awesome and it was only about 40 bucks. Um, you could probably get them even cheaper. Just turn it on and away you go. Hit it into night mode and now it's in night and we can then look around at about like a good 600 feet that you can look in the dark. All right, so this works really well for what I need to just kind of look around and, and keep an eye on things. But wouldn't if you want to build your own? Let's try and build one of these night vision monocles ourselves with an old camera and some security light parts. So what you need is you need a camera. I have an old camera here because you're going to be modifying this camera. So the quality of this camera is really bad. It's a perfect candidate to convert into a night vision camera. So, so what I'm doing is I'm taking the camera apart and I need to get to the IR filter. There's the lens and there's a little threaded on piece. Now that actually can focus the lens away from the, the sensor. So I'm threading out the lens and underneath the lens, the, as you can see, there's a little piece of glass. So all we gotta do is just remove that IR filter Carefully, very carefully. Pull it out. So once you've removed the IR filter, then the camera won't be really any good for day shots anymore. It's really only going to be good for night vision. So do this with a camera that is, you know, you're not going to use anymore or an old cell phone or something like that. So I'm just putting the lens back in. I need to get the focus back. You can see where the glue was. So I'm gonna have to turn it on and actually look at the video and make sure that I have it focused. And we're gonna turn that in and get it the best we can. All right, so I've got the camera back together. Let's turn it on. It's all like pinky or whatever it is because we're not blocking the IR now. So the IR is coming in and we can't filter that out now. So we're seeing the raw image of the sensor. All right, so we have our completed night vision infrared homemade camera. Converted this camera from AAA batteries to USB. Didn't have any batteries, uh, makes it easier. So we can plug that into a power bank on so all we need now is our IR flashlight. So what I've done is I've put an IR array that you'd find inside of a security camera and I've put that inside of an old flashlight. I put a switch on the side of it. IR array is 12 volts. We're gonna need at least three lithium batteries. Could use a LiPo and put it inside. I've just ran a wire out off now and now it's on slightly glowing. So with our modified camera, now this is the daytime but you can see it's way brighter compared to the phone. Little warning, even though you can't see the IR, you can just see a glowing red of the LEDs. There's still an intense IR beam coming off of this. It's pitch black out. Let's turn on the IR flashlight. What are you doing in there, chickens? Looks like everything's secure. I would have walked into that. So it does work. This camera was complete garbage and it was only like $20 years and years ago. There's tons of ways to build a night vision camera. Here's another way to build a night vision camera setup. I bought this reverse camera. This reverse camera has 12 IR LEDs on it, so it's for night vision. So either I can connect this to a reverse camera screen. So I have a retro TV here. Let's connect it to the retro TV. All we have to do is plug in our video RCA for the camera. So from my battery pack, I have a bunch of barrel connectors, one of those into the TV. Connect up our camera. So let's turn on the TV. Okay, so there is our night vision camera on the TV. There's no audio. Let's turn on that. 
So it's really sensitive to IR. With this setup here, I can't record. Take this out and we'll take a look outside in the dark. Okay, so we can see in the dark. Turn on the IR flashlight. Whoa, now you can definitely see. So unfortunately I cannot record, so we have to look at it through the little retro TV screen. But I can clearly see no problem. All right, guys, so this is just an educational video, how to take the IR filter out of an old camera and make it sensitive to IR. You're probably better off just to buy a monocle instead of converting a camera, unless you have a nice camera that you want to try this with and you may get some really good results. All right, guys, in an upcoming video, I'm going to be reviewing this power station, Blue Eddy EB55. This is a really cool little unit. I'm actually lighting up my camper right now and I've been doing rental work in here because there's no electricity over here. And I also have another e-bike project that I'm working on. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, take care and peace out.